Hi, I'm Dr. Skinner. I'm Dr. Jeff Stewart. And May is blood pressure month, so we're here to talk to you about blood pressure. So what is hypertension? So hypertension is when the pressure in your blood vessels is high, and this can lead to damage in those blood vessels over time, which can lead to um, heart disease issues and other end organ issues as well. So high, high blood pressure is defined by the American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology when your blood pressure is greater than 130 on the top number, which is the systolic, or greater than 80 on the bottom number, which is your diastolic blood pressure. So why is controlling blood pressure important? Well, blood pressure is hypertension, I should say, is a well-defined uh, risk factor for cardiovascular events. So we do know that high blood pressure over time can lead to a stroke, a heart attack, kidney issues, um, vision loss, and as well as peripheral vascular disease. So a common discussion we always have are what are the measures, non-medically speaking, to lower your blood pressure. The first conversation you'll have with your doctor is regarding sodium intake or salt. We recommend less than two grams of sodium per daily intake. <clears throat> you'll be surprised, 70% of your pre-prepared foods are loaded with salt. That's where most of our salt intake comes from, not from your shaker. Secondly, we want to talk about blood pressure re related to exercise. So exercise, what I'm recommending is 30 minutes, two days a week, 50 minutes on the weekends will lower your, your, lower your blood pressure. For every 20 pounds of weight loss you have, you can expect a seven millimeter decrease in your top number or your systolic blood pressure reading. So some other measures that you can do on your own at home is to limit your alcohol intake and uh, tobacco sensation as well and also to get screened for sleep apnea, which is a major contributor to hypertension as well. So this isn't a task that you have to do on your own, but these are some recommendations that you can start with. If you're still having blood pressure problems, an easy visit to your primary care doctor can get you started, okay? You can refer to the AmericanHeartAssociation.org for further information, and if your uh, blood pressure is problematic, you can always be referred to a cardiologist. So we appreciate you for tuning in. It's high blood pressure month. Make sure yours is normal. Have a good day.